So we're climbing up the tailings pile here at Phillips Mine, and you can see how vast this pile of waste rock is. And, and today we're going to try to answer a really important question about the mine, which is how deep is the mine and what's at the bottom? And we can only do that with one tool, and that's the ROV. And Michael Gerard has the perfect ROV for the job. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to get down pretty deep. We can go up to 328 feet. So unless it's deeper than that, we should be able to see the bottom. Oh, what's piled up on the bottom? Maybe some uh, working, some uh, woodworking that has collapsed into it. And the other interesting thing is that this mine is listed in one of the, the, um, the county histories as being one of the most ancient mines in the area, which is, it's hard to interpret what they meant by that, but I considered it as being maybe pre-revolutionary war. Now, the fact that there's iron and pyrite What's the probability of there being any like gold or any other metals? I mean, in a small quantity, because I know that when you're dealing with heavy metals, you usually find other heavy metals around there. Yeah, that's actually a really good question because this was originally called a silver mine. So I don't know if there's any silver. There probably isn't, but Maybe the sil silver is what everyone was looking for at, an, at a at these very early dates because the, they knew that the Spanish were extremely successful in mining silver and it was um, you know the goal of all of these European countries to compete with the Spanish so they figured if it was that easy for the Spanish to find silver why can't we just you know go out into the the hills and find deposits of silver and start mining them as well because the whole land was unknown so it was called a silver mine I don't think there's any silver yeah crack the piece out oh we gotta bring it home and look at it under the microscope. I mean, they may have saw the pyrite and yeah. thought, you know, that could be That's associated with gold. Now we get to see, hopefully, what's at the bottom of the Phillips mine. Answer a question that has been asked for a long time. I just take my time. Now it's free to hang. Well, we lowered the ROV down to the water in the mine. It was a fantastic drop. We're watching it on the screen. Uh, just really looking forward to see this great footage of it finally getting into the water. And then, you know, just one step away to answering that question is where's the bottom? And once we got it into the water, for some reason, the screen froze, which is not unusual for these ROVs. It happens often, and all it requires is a reboot and then you're back in action, you can start heading in. Unfortunately, when we did the reboot of every single thing and receiving of cables and so on, it never came back online again. So here's the update. The ROV just died. So the, uh, the number one rule of uh, doing anything is with uh, exploring, you always have to have redundancy, so Mike, what do you have for us to keep the mission going? I got a second ROV, the old Trident. So we're going to pull that up there. And though it's not as high quality in video, it's going to be worth it. We'll get something done. And like I said, that's why you always have a backup plan to make uh, to take, take care of any unexpected issues. All right, so we're back up in the mine here. And this is the Trident in this case. And we're going to deploy the Trident and see if we can find the bottom. And I've been walking because I would buy I would buy another trident as a secondary backup. If it was cheap enough. Or if I'm uh, spending like a thousand, thousand something, I'd rather spend it on. And then, uh, Here, let's go. You want to go back a little bit? I don't like being right on the edge for the. It might be we're at. I see something. Like a. We might be at the other uh, attic. Oh. I see something. There should be an attic right below us. So. 
look at this. Hold on, let me go up. So, and we're only right now 11, or maybe we get down to 12 meters. So, just minus that. And but you're thinking that diagonal, we could do the trick and like figure out the exact length. But that's that's pretty far. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we've ever reached the end before. No, we haven't. We hit to the first. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess it's time to turn around. So those are like wooden beams that yeah. a skip car would ride on, and there's like thick wood separating them so it doesn't split. There's probably a lot of all that stuff we could have hit some of that. Oh, look at that. Oh, what is that? Uh, is oh, that wood? Oh, wood? Uh, oh, it's just like... But is it like like tracks kind of going down, or is it... Hold on, let me slip level. Okay. Oh, wow. Can you follow it? <laughs> is that a ladder? Our famous discovery. We got the ladder finders. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> we found our token ladder. Or we're doing good with ladders. Oh, look at that! Wow, wow that's a nice one. <laughs> is that maybe does that one go into a different place or is that no? It hits the bottom. But does it go oh, up? Wait, to wait, it? Let, let's see. Let me yeah, let's look around here. Let's look around. And we're at twenty. We're at the bottom, but we're at twenty. That is nice. That looks a fantastic condition. Yeah, they're always in good shape like that. Is it made out of wood? Is it made out of metal? I thought it was metal at first, but it should work. It's like 20 feet though, or 20 meters. It wasn't that. Wow, am I, am I somewhere it's, different? I think you're on another level. Because you're going the other direction, but you're below. I think you're I think you're on a level below that because you were in that 20 meters oh, wow, when you were going in that direction. Oh right. This is where it gets tough. We, we can get this done. And look, we're down Perfect. to two. Oh, oh, that's not bad. No, that's not bad. We we were probably we we're probably a little over half the uh, energy. But I think it, I've had enough stress for today. Yeah, I think that's, uh, it's it's really good to know how long, like roughly you, you can go. And I, I was getting a little nervous uh, that it was gonna be out. But um, I think a rule of thumb should be that when we're at half juice, then to uh, bring it back. Yeah. Because that way if there's problems and so on, uh, then we know that we've got enough juice to be able to successfully power down, power up. All right, so we just got out of the mine here and the trip was very successful. We reached a bottom to the mine and it was actually deeper than I think either of us thought. Yeah. It was 70, about 75 feet deep. So from the surface of the water, we went down 75 feet until we hit a bottom. And we also found what we think is a upper level because when we were first trying to hit bottom, well, when we first were trying to hit bottom, we hit about, um, what, like 60 feet, 20, yeah. 20 meters or so, but it was like a stope with a step excavation and it didn't continue. So we went back up, then we hit a spot that was like 12 meters. We thought that was like the main working of the mine because it kept going out about 300 feet. Yep. We actually paid out all of our tether sure. until we had, we couldn't go any further. So that was about 12 meters. There was some sort of artifact on that level but we couldn't continue to find out what was what was ahead we just didn't have any more tether so we went back and somehow we got into that deep section. section yeah um but that was following the um the tracks 
stuff. Yes. So we did find um, our artifact of the day, which is uh, some sort of skip car tracks going yep. straight down wh where they would have removed the ore on a car. Um, it looked like it was heavy wood and it it wasn't it wasn't a ladder it was definitely tracks but we did find a ladder as we always do we found a ladder <laughs> there's always a ladder so i would say every mine we've done yep. we found a ladder and this was a nice clean ladder too it was in great shape i was impressed with how nice it looked i almost thought it was metal because it was so clean yeah it didn't have any um slime or anything you know hanging off it it was actually in really good condition all the rungs were still there and I could just imagine someone climbing up that ladder to get to the bottom of those yep. skip car tracks because the, the tracks ended and then from there down, there was a ladder. So that was rock bottom, 25 meters down, and we couldn't go any farther than that. We also found our initial dive, we found the false floor. And that we thought we had hit the bottom, we couldn't go any further. Then we realized it was a false floor and moved ahead and was able to then get below that. So there's obviously some structure still within there to um, that we can explore that we need to go back to look at. Yeah, there was probably two, there's there's probably two levels. That's why we were only able to get to 12 meters on the first run and then 25 meters on the second run. So we were probably just on top of a floor and we were at one point um, on seeing the timbers that made up the underside of it. So yeah. that was that was pretty interesting. One thing we didn't find is we didn't find the adit leading to the outside. We did find though that uh, spindle of sorts for something for maybe for um, um, lowering or you know for a winch of sorts. Remember the the spooling? Yeah there was there was definitely a, like a cable roller for the um, the skip car to guide the the cable up and out of the mine because it probably wasn't a straight shot down to the bottom. So that was an important artifact. We did find we found some sort of bracket of sorts, um, but nothing else um, obvious as far as we didn't see any sh shovels or uh, or cars or anything like yeah, that. Nothing. But there's still. I mean, we need to go back and hopefully with the five fish, with the uh, four a thousand um, lumen of light, and we'll be able to see a whole lot more than we saw with this. This is only like 750 lumen, so it's a fraction of what we can be looking at that with. But the, the main thing is we, we were able to get the ROV back out yeah. safely, even though we had a few snags and we thought it was stuck a few times. Uh, it came out with half battery left, so we still could have used its own power to get it unstuck. So, I mean, that was a success. That's exactly what we're hoping for. Uh, besides the five fish, it was a perfect case scenario. We found the, the bottom of the bottomless pit. Yep. And maybe there's more to explore. Maybe there might be more depth at least certain directions that we didn't finish exploring and still that attic we got to go look at too and so this is definitely something we'll need a return trip to further uh, explore what's hidden down there in that mine so we'll post updates when we uh, send the next rov down and see what we find